Hello. The homily for Friday, the 18th of September, morning prayer, the season of creation. From September the 1st until October the 4th, some 2.2 billion Christians around the world are praying and caring for creation. It's the season of creation. The beginning and the end date of the season of creation are linked with the concern for creation in the Eastern and Western traditions of Christianity, respectively. On the 4th of October, we remember St. Francis, and it would be difficult to think of the season of creation without remembering the tremendous contribution to our understanding made by him. Throughout the years, major Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant, and Anglican organizations have joined to encourage Christians worldwide to pray and act on ecological issues. St. Francis of Assisi wrote this poem. It's a poem of praise which reveals his vision of God, creation, and the human soul. While suffering intensely from his physical infirmities, he announced, I wish to compose a new hymn about the Lord's creatures of which we make daily use, without which we cannot live, and with which the human race greatly offends its creator. A short while later, after hearing of a quarrel that had broken out between the civil and religious leaders um, of Assisi, Francis asked that the brothers go before them singing these verses, but he added two more. These are verses 10 and 11, and he composed the final two verses, 12 and 13, on his deathbed. This year, the global reach of the novel coronavirus revealed our shared human nature and the interconnectivity of our economies, political structures, healthcare systems, food, produ food production chains, energy, and the transportation systems in devastating ways. The pandemic also demonstrated that the entire web is rooted in the earth and limited by the Earth's capacity to sustain our economic and ecological demands. The unjust effects of climate change are a consequence of our inability to find a sustainable balance for our planet. This year, the worldwide theme is Jubilee for the Earth, and the focus is hope. If we view creation only in terms of ecology, nature, botany and biology, we see ourselves apart from God's creation, instead of being a part of God's creation, exclusive rather than inclusive. If we view Francis only in terms of a modern-day eco-warrior, we completely miss the depth of his spirituality. For Francis, as God is our Father, he saw family relationships within all of creation. Birds, fire and wind are brothers. The moon, stars and water are sisters, and our planet Earth, which nourishes us, is mother. Creation is nature viewed with the Creator in mind. Creation is fullness, life and community. Creation becomes frat hum sorry, fraternity. It's impossible to read this canticle without sensing Francis's humility, a humility that rejoices, offers praise, gives thanks, and shows his infinite love of God. There is no demand made of God and no focus on him or on us as individuals. So here it is. It's also known as the Canticle of the Sun, and some have felt that he may have based his canticle on Psalm 148. Most High, all-powerful, good Lord, yours are the praises, the glory, and the honour, and all blessing. To you alone, Most High, do they belong, and no human is worthy to mention your name. Praise be to you, my Lord, with all your creatures, especially Brother Son, who is the day and through whom you give us light. And he is beautiful and radiant with great splendor and bears a likeness to you, most holy one.
Praise be to you, my Lord, through Sister Moon and the stars. In heaven you form them clear and precious and beautiful. Praise be to you, my Lord, through the brother wind and through the air, cloudy and serene, and every kind of weather, through whom you give sustenance to your creatures. Praise be to you, my Lord, through Sister Water, who is very useful and humble and precious and chaste. Praise be to you, my Lord, through Brother Fire, through whom you light the night. And he is beautiful and playful and robust and strong. Praise be to you, my Lord, through our sister Mother Earth, who sustains us and governs us and who produces various fruit with coloured flowers and herbs. Praise be to you, my Lord, through those who give pardon for your love and bear infirmity and tribulation. Blessed are those who endure in peace, for by you, Most High, shall they be crowned. Praise be to you, my Lord, through our sister, bodily death from whom no one living can escape. Woe to those who die in mortal sin. Blessed are those whom death will find in your most holy will, for the second death shall do them no harm. Praise and bless my Lord, and give him thanks, and serve him with great humility. Amen. Be safe, my friends. Be blessed till we meet again, Maureen.